Gabe Double Tap, Mike here everyone. Welcome back to Eldrum Red Tide Unofficial Stories Part 2. Hardcore. <laughs> there are some rules about this particular playthrough. If we die, we start all over again. That's it. So, can't die. But that doesn't mean we're going to play incredibly defensive. We're still going to play wild. So I think I should call it wild and hardcore. So we're still going to play wild. We're going to try to survive as long as we can. And of course, we're always looking to unlock 100% of the achievements. So that is one of our methods. The beautiful music you hear is from the app itself. Eldrum has some of the most gorgeous music ever placed in the game. So let's get it, let's be about it. Uh, let's get it going here. And thank you so much for everyone who's been subscribing. It looks like everybody is liking my brand new game, Lost Air Part One. People are really digging it. Loving that thumbnail, right, right? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, thank you very much to the artist, Jessica Church, who did the uh, layout of it and design. And thank you to the individual artists whose pieces, uh, whatever are included, you are, you are given attribution in my description. And thank you so much for your talent. Thank you, Jessica, for your talent. Again, uh, I'm very blessed to have talented people around me. And uh, to be able to purchase their services is, again, another blessing. You know? I, I always appreciate everything that is given to me. Everything that I'm able to give. It's all it's all amazing. It's all good. And what else is good is Eldrum Red Tide Hardcore Wild Hardcore. <laughs> okay, so last time we just we lost a couple of times in the dream sequence because and we also lost a little bit of reputation because of some things that we did. So we'll see what happens. I'm sure we're going to lose a couple more times here. I just thought I'd get at least another part to the hardcore series in. Talk to the soul. Talk to the exiles. But approach the gate. All right. Button. So we came back out of the infirmary. Now, what I really wish Eldrum had was more of a relationship system. Like Lost Air has this really sick relationship system that depending on how you dis discuss things with people or talk to people, you have a relationship with them, which is really cool. And it tracks it. I think that is that is something the next Eldrum should have as a relationship system. I got some double tap coffee. That's what you hear me sipping on. No humming from the AC because I'm filming this at 8.30 in the morning. I can only film for an hour on this particular episode because I've got a, I'm puppy sitting, so I've got to take him out. And it is, uh, as you know, our, our very special boy, little boy Blue. Uh, his name is Jose. So he is a trained professional guide dog. That is his real name, Jose. He's adorable. I have lots of names for him called Bubba Lubba, Kissy Face, Whiskey Foxtrot. <laughs> he has a bunch of names. He, I am the king of nicknames. I, I could come up with a different nickname every day. Map, but character tab, tab, inventory tab, quest tab, no notifications, no notifications, dim, heading not found, no notifications, talk to the exiles. Let's talk button. to these exiles. Talk to the exiles. A crowd of weary oh, travelers is baby. gathered here. Among them is a one-eyed cultist. He preaches to the crowd. Doom falls upon T.A.M. Kiris. You can see it with your own eyes. Clear as day. Ellipsis. They mostly seem to ignore him. Observe the crowd. Use. Button. Ask the exiles about your brother. Button. Ask the exiles about your brother. Used. You exchange a few words with the wandering factotum. Upon hearing about your brother, he replies. Barnabas? Name does ring a bell. Ellipsis. Back in Logan. Before the war. Ellipsis. He kept the slums under control. Law abiding. Honest workers like me were glad to have him around. Gutter snipes and smugglers were running scared. Those were the days. Ellipsis. Observe the crowd. Used. Ask the exiles about your brother. Used. But approach the gate. Button. Map. Button. Approach the gate. Button. Approach the gate. Leave the outpost. The gates to Riverside Outpost are wide open. Longbowmen survey the frozen wilderness from the watchtowers. A guard is posted in the gateway, keeping an eye on the comings and goings. Previous, you exchange a few words with the gate. Talk to the guard. Button. Well, I think we're ready to go. Let's talk to the... Leave the outpost. Talk to the talk guard. Talk to the guard. Button. Talk to the guard. A rusty iron claymore is resting on his shoulder, descending from a black fur cowl. His blonde beard is tangled in thick braids. He growls. What? Ask him about your brother. Button. 
Ask him about your brother. Fetch me a drink. Then we'll talk. Give him the jug of Galderbra. Button. Should you really be drinking on the job? Button. Give him the jug of Galderbra. Button. Give him the jug of Galderbra. Snatching the clay jug like a fiend. The guardsman grins blaze of Nirva. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Ellipsis. He wolfs down the strong ale and wipes off his beard with the back of his hand. Much obliged. You better make this worth my while. Ellipsis. Button. Wait for him to speak. Button. Leave the outpost. Wait for- You better make this worth my while. I you better make this worth my while. Ellip- Hold on let me think for a second. Been a long night. Old Noggin ain't what it used to be. Ellipsis. Wait for him to speak. Button. Hold on let me think for a second. Been a long night. Old Noggin ain't- Wait for him to s- Leave the outpost. Wait for him to speak. Wait for him to speak. He starts coughing. A hand. H-R-R-N. The name's Warren. Your brother's a friend of mine. He once told me about a safe house. North of here. It's a basement near the tower mill. Somewhere on the killing fields. Not too far from the main road. Might be worth looking into. Serlo is already on his way. Ellipsis. All right. So this is the part of the story that gets a little tricky because sometimes I don't exactly figure out who is who. Serlo's there. There's soldiers on the field who are injured, left behind. So there's a lot of weird stuff going on. I don't think we could die out there too early. So we'll try to take our time and get as much experience as we can. Previous. Hold on. Let Serlo. Button. Let's find out who Serlo is. I Serlo? forgot who this guy is. I think yeah, he's working he's one for of us. Weakest link. the commander. Still, ellipsis. We stick together because we patrol the same areas. Four of us. Apex killers. Worst of the worst. We all pale in comparison to your brother, though. Ellipsis. Except maybe Armel. I beg to differ. My brother ain't that good at fighting. In fact, he hardly ever helps. Glad to see that he's making friends. Usually not the case. Button. I can see how the two of you would get along. B killing fields? Button. I can s glad to see that he's making friends. Usually not the case. Glad to see that he's making friends. You makes friends with whores. Mostly. Ellipsis. The amount of CD is dumping out there. Ellipsis. Boggles the mind how many bastards he must have spawned. Ellipsis. The drunken guardsman starts laughing. It sounds like death rattles bubbling in a pit of sewage and vomit. Well, they're not whores. If it's it's if it's consensual sex, then, then they're just doing what they are allowed to do by their own human freedoms. So, don't start shaming people, dude, for their sexual activity. I can see how the two of you would get along. Button. Killing fields? I can see how the two of you would get along. But I can see how the two of you would get along. Beautiful. Ain't it? End of the world brought us together. Soldiers in a broken land. Trying to pick up the pieces. Ellipsis. Killing fields? Button. Beautiful. Ain't it? Killing fields? Button. Killing fields? He laughs. Used to be known as the Golden Plains. Poisoned by the godless invaders. Left there until the end of time. Whole new world out there. See. While you were sleeping. The rest of us had to live in it. Ellipsis. Yeah, I was in a coma while you, loser, were becoming a big-time alcoholic. What do you think might have happened? Button. What do you think might have happened? There's no telling what kind of trouble he's gotten himself into. Regardless, we're gonna see to it that he makes it back in one piece. Ellipsis. Yeah, you're gonna do that from standing here at the gate getting blasted. Previous. There's no telling what kind of trouble he's gotten himself into. Regardless, we're gonna see to it that he makes it back in one piece. Ellipsis. Leave the outpost. But Map. Button. Leave the outpost. Alright, let's get Button. out of here. Leave the outpost. You were a whole lot of no help. You head out on the country road. Ravens and rooks nest among the branches of barren treetops. Blinding white hills rise below clouded winter skies. Look around. Button. Look around. Used. Years have gone by since you last laid eyes on this landscape, which lies at the heart of the western highlands. A screaming tempest shrouds the northern hills. Elsewhere, the skies remain calm above the rugged terrain of cliffs and deep forests. The frozen river meanders along the road to the south. So we have to do a lot of flashbacks, so that's going to slow us down a little bit, but that's fine. The more of those you do, the more likely you open up other events, so there will be some slow parts, though. There'll be some deaths, don't worry. Look around, used, button, follow the road, but character tab, tab, follow the road, button, follow the road. Read the sign. You walk for a few minutes until you reach a crossroads, where a sign has been posted. Okay, we gotta go look for uh, our brothers in the killing fields. Read the sign. Button. Character tab. Read the sign. But Read the sign. The inscriptions read as follows. N.E. Riverside Outpost. N.W. Golden Plains. Great City of Roberg. W. Fenris Woodlands. S. River Shrine. All right. South River Shrine. Previa. The inscriptions read as follows. N.E. Riverside Outpost. Riverside. N.W. Golden Plains. Northwest Great City of Golden Roberg. Plains. W. Fenris Woodlands. S. River Shrine. Finless Woodlands. I think we go toward the woodlands. Previa. The inscriptions read as follows. N.E. Riverside Outpost. N.W. Golden Plains. Great City of Roberg. W. Fenris Woodlands. 
S. I think river it's shrine. W. Read the sign. Head south to the river shrine. Button. Head west to the Fenris woodlands. Button. Head northwest to the city ruins. Button. City ruins. You know, that's where I usually die. Head west to the Fenris woodlands. Let's go Button. to the woodlands first. Head west to the Fenris woodlands. Keep walking. But you head west on the country road. Shadows of towering spruce darken the snowy hills. As you delve deeper into the Fenris woodlands, you get the feeling that something is not right. Many years have gone by since you last set foot in this forest, but it was never this quiet back then. Not even during winter time. Take a moment to think back. Button. Take a moment to think back. You recall the days when you and your brother were out hunting together. Children of the city, learning to live off the land, as any soldier should. Alec wasn't much of a marksman, and he was too impatient. But days went by quicker when he was at your side. Keep walking. Button. Character tab. Tab. Keep walking. Button. You recall the days. Keep walking. Keep walking. Felt by a cold gust of wind. Snow drops from the branches around you. Up ahead, the road is blocked by the wreckage of a deserted carriage. Take a closer look at the wreckage. Button. Continue on your way. Take a closer look at the. Take a closer look at the wreckage. Riddled with arrows on all sides, the carriage seems to have been halted by strategically placed piles of rocks, leaving the front wheels broken. Look inside the carriage. Button. Look inside the carriage. You find nothing of value. Search the area around the carriage. Button. Search the area around the carriage. Naked and punctured by arrows. Frozen corpses lie buried in the snow. Take the arrows. Button. Take the arrows. You rip out a few arrows from the frozen corpses on the ground. Continue on your way. Button. Notifications. 4. Lost Galderbra. Gain 20 experience. Failed perception check. Gain 5 times arrow. Button. Oh, uh, we have a... We failed perception check. Oh, they have added that new feature, so now we know when we failed a perception check. I've always wanted to do a perception build, but uh, I... I've never done it. Notifications. 4. Lost Galderbra. Game. Heading not found. Quest tab. Has up. Notifications. 4. Lost Galderbra. No notifications. Dim. That's good to know that now they have that it built into the game. This game has... The updates are magnificent. Probably the best text-based RPG game ever created. That's how refined this game is. Again, its engine is probably the most resplendent example of how to make everything work perfectly. It doesn't require you to refresh. It does it for you. The tab systems are perfect, clean. The buttons are crispy, crunchy, and great. The music is completely nuanced and well built in, has the perfect vibe. The writing is great. There's no grammatical errors. It has a great menu system, a strategy system. It's kind of got everything. It's got vendors. It's got open world. It's got reputation. It's got secrets. It's got bosses. Yeah, it's got that really great switch to mood music when you fight uh, bosses, which is really amazing. It's got secrets. Yeah, um, not uh, there's really no game before it that's gotten close. There's a couple games that are good like this. Like, I Lost Air. It's really, really great. Um, again, I do believe in the future, I look forward to more from these developers, uh, what they'll be doing with this series. And I've been requested to go back and play Eldrum... Uh, what is it? Eldrum Untold? They want me to go back and play it. Oof, that's a hard game. I will do it. If y'all want me to go back and play Untold, I'll do it. It's a nightmare, though. <laughs> Eldritch Untold is really hard. But yeah, I'll go back and play the whole thing. No worries. Uh, give me a, give me a little, give me uh, maybe next week. Well, I'll start it next week. But yeah, I'll go back and play the whole thing. I played it on game, but uh, I'll play it for double tap. No notifications. Dim. Button. Continue on your way. But you rip out a few arrows from the frozen corpses. Continue on your way. Character tab. Continue on your way. Continue on your way. The road curves upwards to the top of a hill, which overlooks a forest valley. A sight both familiar and breathtaking. One that brings back a lot of memories. I think we have to go toward the city in order to find the uh, killing fields. Take a moment to think back. Button. Might as well Take just get all this back. stuff out of the way. The Valley of Prey. Ancestral hunting grounds of the woodland nomads. Before you had earned your stripes in the militia, the nomads were the masters of this forest. A force to be reckoned with. Feared and hated. Yeah, I don't want to deal with the nomads. They're strong. Keep thinking about the past. Button. Keep thinking about the past. There were always tensions between the militia and the nomads. Two years ago, the nomads rebelled. You and your brother heard about the woodland uprising from a safe distance. Thankful that city guardsmen were exempt from service. 
Keep thinking about the past. Button. Keep thinking about the past. You remember when you heard the news of Militia's triumph. The nomad tribes were crushed and scattered to the wind. For days, people were celebrating in the streets of Loga. Never before had you seen your brother so drunk. And that's saying something. Descend into the forest valley. Button. Nah, this one I know. We can't do this right now. Return to the crossroads. Button. Descend into the forest valley. Button. Let's just check and see if we can. Though. Descend into the forest valley. Map. Button. D look around. But deep in the forest valley, the country road has been blocked off with rocks and fallen trees. Previous, you remember when you heard the news of Militia's triumph. Deep in the forest valley, the country road has been blocked off with rocks and fallen trees. Look around. Button. Look around. Ancient and majestic trees loom large upon the snowy hills. You detect no sign of movement, as if the silent forest was submerged in deep sleep. Take a closer look at the roadblock. Button. Consider your options. Button. Oh, I could consider my options. Take a closer look at the roadblock. Button. Take a closer look at the roadblock. You approach the makeshift barricade. Whoever did this had plenty of time on their hands. And some time has passed since then, because plenty of snow has piled up on top of it. Curiously, the stones are cut like building blocks. Consider your options. Button. Consider my options. Consider your options. Far beyond the barricade, the road will take you to the woodland outpost, westernmost bastion of the Robert Militia. Yeah, we're not but that's a long go walk from here. Yet. You have a vague recollection of a hunting lodge, somewhere in the wilderness to the north. We'll do this later. Climb over the barricade. Button. Head north to the hunting lodge. Button. Well, we could go to the hunting lodge and do that part now. Climb over. Head north to the hunt. Map. Button. Head north to the hunting lodge. Button. Well, let's see what happens if we do head that. Head north to the hunting lodge. You abandon the country road and head north. Back when you and your brother underwent basic training, these woods were fraught with peril. Based on what you have seen so far, this remains true. A feeling of dread lingers in the quiet forest, where all you can hear is the sound of your own footsteps, crunching in the snow. Stay vigilant and keep moving. Button. Character tab. Stay vi- You abandon the country- Stay vigilant and keep moving. Button. Stay vigilant and keep moving. The mind plays tricks in the wilderness. You've seen it before. Shadows moving in the corner of your eye. Strange patterns like demons where naked branches intertwine. It's all about keeping your head on your shoulders. Knowing that the forest settles like an old mansion. Creaking. Thumping. Cracking. Stop and listen. Button. Continue on your- Stop and listen. Stop and listen. Everything means something. Question is, what? And to whom? The sound of your footsteps means a whole lot to someone who'd like to have you for dinner, whether it be man or beast. And now, silence, but with a slight delay. Who, or what, is out there, if anything, or anyone? Look back. Button. Continue on your- Look back. But- Look back. Nothing, it seems. Just the haunting serenity of a quiet winter forest. No notifications. Dimmed. Continue on your way. Nothing, it seems. Continue on your way. Continue on your way. There it is. The hunting lodge. You can see it in the distance. Approach the hunting lodge. Button. Character tab. Approach the hunting lodge. Approach the hunting lodge. Look at the building. Tucked away in the heart of the forest valley, the hunting lodge is a reassuring sight, reminding you of simpler times. But as you get closer, it becomes clear that the building has been ransacked and deserted. Look at the building. Button. Look at the building. Used. The front door is missing and most of the window shutters are broken. Numerous arrows are stuck in the outer walls. And the Highland Banner has been torn to shreds. Look at the building. Used. Enter the hunting lodge. B character tab. Enter the hunting lodge. Enter the hunting lodge. Many evenings were spent on this front porch, where soldiers would rest their weary legs after a long day of hunting. The floorboards creak as you approach the entrance. Take a moment to think back. Button. Take a moment to think back. Back in those days, you used to sit and watch the sunset with your brother, knocking back a few jugs of meat as you talked about your future in the militia. Proceed. Button. Character tab. Proceed. Back in those days. Proceed. But Proceed. You enter the main hall, where broken windows shed light on dead bodies and busted furniture. Look around. Button. Look around. Use. Snow has piled up on the floor beneath the windows. A handful of glimmering coins lie scattered among the frostbitten corpses. There's a food pantry in the room to your left. And there's a bedroom to your right. Look around. Used. Pick up the coins from the floor. Button. Pick up the coins from the floor. Having picked up the last coin from the floor, you notice that a small shield lies discarded in the corner of the room. Look around. Used. Examine the dead bodies. Button. Take the shield. Button. Take the shield. You pick up the small shield from the floor. Look around. Used. Button. Examine the dead bodies. Button. Examine the dead bodies. Soldiers. All of them. Distinguished by the mark of allegiance on their left forearms. Their bodies have been stripped naked and left to rot. Look around. Used. Take a look at the bedroom. Button. Take another look at the bedroom. Used. Nothing in here. Except a couple of bunk beds and a plundered chest of drawers. Look around. Used. Button. Look around. Used. Snow has piled up on the floor beneath the windows. Mangled and exposed. Several corpses lie scattered around you. Look around. Used. Take another look at the bedroom. Used. Button. Take another look at the bedroom. Used. There's a ladder going up to the attic. Look around. Used. Climb the ladder from the bedroom to the attic. Climb the ladder from the bedroom to the attic. The attic is dusty and messy. 
Daylight seeps in from the holes in the ceiling. Look around. Button. Go back down to the main character tab. Go back. Look around. Button. Look around. There's a bunch of old junk up here. Nothing of value. The only exception is a reinforced wooden chest. Looks like people already tried to break it open without success. Open the chest. Button. Open the chest. It's locked. You don't have the key. This is where we gotta get that lock pick from the river shrine place. Disable the lock. Button. I'll try. Disable the lock. Used. You need a lock pick to perform this task. Uh, come, I'll be back. Disable the lock. Used. Break it open. Button. Go back down to the main hall. Button. Character tab. Ta heading not found. Go back down to the main hall. Button. Break it open. Button. Break it open. Used. You are not strong enough. Disable the lock. Used. Break it open. Used. Go back down to the main hall. Button. Go back down to the main hall. You enter the main hall. Where broken windows shed light on dead bodies and busted furniture. Look around. Used. Button. Look around. Used. Snow has piled up on the floor beneath the windows. Look around. You climb the ladder from the bedroom to the search for food in the pantry. Button. Search for food in the pantry. The pantry has been looted already. Scraping the bottom of a barrel, you find a few pieces of dried meat that were left behind. Look around. Used. Climb the ladder from the bedroom. Exit the hunting lodge. Character tab. Exit the hunting lodge. But exit the hunting lodge. You step outside. The winter forest is quiet and ominous. A cold breeze whispers in your ear. Without words, it tells you to keep moving. Go back inside. Button. Map. Button. Character tab. Map. Go back inside. Map. Button. Okay, time Map. to fast travel. Area. Fendus At a Woodlands. certain point, you have to fast travel because there's no story mode moving you forward so then you're allowed to do your open world movement so at this point once you have gone through all the explorative areas then you have your open world mode where you can go all the way back to wherever you want barring an encounter which happens occasionally though i gotta say i hate that they took out a lot of the encounters because i think those are the best part of this game to me, what gives this game an open world feel is that you could constantly deal with encounters, you could get killed, you could find monsters, you could find special monsters, you could find animals, you could go hunting, you find treasures. To me, that's an open world. It doesn't matter if it's text-based, if it's a triple A MMO, it's still the beautifulness of an open world RPG. And to me, Eldrum has the best shot to outshine any triple A game because it's storytelling so much better than any AAA game is, in my opinion. Hunting Lodge, current location. So Dead. I'd like Button. them to put back all the encounters or allow us to open that option if we get 100% of exploring the whole world and then just turn on the ability for us to level all the way to what? Um, I don't know, level all the way up to max level, 100. And just put more harder monsters, just intersperse some monsters throughout there that are super tough and make them hard to find. So I've always wanted them to make this game have an open world option. I hope down the road, the developers will consider making some of these options. They wouldn't be that expensive to code. Just make some really tough monsters and make them really hard to beat. Give them some really twisted mechanics and give them some strong weapons. And if we beat them, we get a bunch of experience, money and items, possibly the weapon, but also make those monsters respawn. Like, make about 10 or 11 super powerful bosses, spread them around the world and make them respawnable. Like make it so that we can fight them several times because they don't always drop the same weapon. At least have them drop one armor, one weapon, one trinket, one appearance-based item and maybe some consumables. Uh, I'll also have them drop some range weapons, combinations, and let those be really, really good weapons. I'd also say open up the in-game area for exploring and also so that we can leave. Uh, those are some of the things uh, I talk with this about Aaron Spoker. If you want to check out my interview series I did with Aaron Spoker about Eldrum, we talked a lot about our wish list of things we'd like to see added to the game. You could go check that out on game. Uh, we, we, we chatted for a good few hours about some of the coolest things. And I think we uh, had a conversation with the developers and uh, yeah, they are very amenable to so many things. Um, they're very, very, very open to this. Uh, and you know, another way folks, we can make stuff like that happen is when you all purchase games. When you purchase games, you contribute toward game, the channel, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. When you drop me thanks, 
That also helps get accessibility out there because the more popular and accessible YouTuber is, the more possibility that gamers and uh, will come to me, the more possibility that developers will reach out to me, the more possibility that developers will make games accessible for those who are visually impaired. So remember, it's a, you know, catch 22, but a positive one. But yeah, again, uh, purchasing things, purchasing um, things in games, buying the game. And if you can't afford to buy the game, as I always say, talk about the game. You know, that really means a lot. You know, telling people, hey, have you played this game? It's really good. That means a lot. Roadblock. Recenter map. All right, so we're done here. I think we've done everything at this lodge. Just go ahead and get out of here. We're going to try to get the killing field done before we run out of time. Roadblock. I, I don't really... It's not that I don't have time to play. I do have tons of time to play. It's just that I have a, a dog sitting, so I can't do a three-hour recording. I will later today. Uh, I plan to um, touch a couple of different episodes. They, I mean, listen, on Double Tap, we do what we want. So... I don't care about monetization. I don't care what YouTube has to say. YouTube's loving me anyway. YouTube's loving me big time. Subscriber counts up to 44. I'm loving all of you too. So yeah, YouTube's loving me right now. Thumbnails are kicking. Games are fun. Everyone's showing love. We're, we're, gonna, we're climbing, y'all. We could hit 100 subs by the end of September. I feel like if we're going to go one sub a day... We could hit 100 subs by the end of August. But I'm not going to guess, but, well, I am going to guess. That's what I just did. I'm going to guess and say we are on the road toward 50 subs. Maybe by the end of this month, we could hit 50 subs. So, you know, it's possible. I think it's really amazing if we do. Recenter map. Zoom out. Button. Close map. Button. Zoom out. Recenter map. Roadblock. Button. Hunting Lodge. Current location. Roadblock. Button. Let's go to the roadblock. Roadblock. Travel interrupted by encounter. Oh, we Guided got an by encounter. by your own footprints in the snow. You walk alone through the forest. All of a sudden, you are startled by a loud crack when a tree is struck by an arrow right in front of you. I love when an arrow hits a tree in a movie. It's so amazing. Right next to the protagonist's face. Like, if you're an archer, you wouldn't miss a person's head. Let me tell you something, folks. Archers... They are deadly. Those, if you read history about archers, they are the single biggest cause for the loss of, they are the reason why all the most famous defensive structures were created. Because archers are not necessarily the most physically fit folks, but their eye for pinpointing and putting an arrow through your eyeball, it's just, they're so good at it. And, and archers are, in history, the one of the most powerful military resources. And, I mean, with an adequate number of archers, you can hold off a much larger army. You know, a much larger army. And I'm telling you, an archer from about 40 yards away isn't going to miss my head. He's going to put that right in my head. Probably instant kill. And by the way, if he shoots an arrow, he's already pulling back for the second one. That first arrow, by the time it hit me, the second one's already knocked and ready to be fired. I just did some research on archers, and man, I'm telling you something. Brutal. They are so good. Um, it makes me think of Future Arena. I wanted to play. I'm thinking about playing the Arcane Archer soon, but I don't want to play it yet. I'm saving it because I heard it's one of the most powerful classes in Future Arena. Uh, so yeah, I do have a Future Arena play coming soon. Um, I haven't recorded it yet. I only got the first half an hour done. I'm going to at least do another couple more hours before I release it because I'd actually like to get pretty far into the game. Because I don't want to do episodic stuff. I'm looking to do big, long Let's Plays. That's kind of what we do here in Double Tap. But yeah, uh, I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, again, I started yesterday. I got a brand new thumbnail for Futurina. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah, and I hope you're liking the thumbnail that Jessica Church did for this game, um, Eldrum Red Tide. It's a beautiful thumbnail. It shows the two brothers. It shows yourself and your brother. 
standing before the burning city that you once patrolled and guarded. It, it's, it's a gorgeous thumbnail. It's very pretty. It shows just the chaos and destruction of war. It, it's beautiful. And we're both holding our giant claymores, you know. It, it, it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thumbnail. It's fully described. So I am currently putting descriptions of thumbnails into the description. And it's a little confusing, right? The descriptions are in the descriptions. <laughs> But yeah, I am currently getting descriptions done and they're put they're going to be put into the description. So if you want to know what my thumbnails look like, they are fully described. I just want you to know it's like alt text, you know, people do that for a lot of different apps. Well, I do it Eve. I do a full audiobook worth of description. So it's all in there. So your voiceover will read my description. You just have to go into my description. And by the way, in my description is a plethora of valuable links, including to all my channels, to my Facebook, to um, the developers, to the game in the App Store for uh, for Apple's uh, you know store. Uh, sometimes even like small guides and tutorials are listed inside of my description. So uh, you know, don't thumb your nose up at my thumbnails or my description because there's a lot of valuable information in there. And um, uh, feel free to, you know, copy paste that stuff and post it. And if you want to, sh to show people what I'm working on, don't be shy. You can always share what I do here on YouTube with uh, your family, friends, and those who are blind, visually impaired because I want them to know about what I do. It's, it's really the single best thing is your word of mouth. And I appreciate that. Guided by your guided by your own guided by your own footprints in the character tab inventory tab he heading not let's found. clear our inventory tab notifications four gold plus seven gained leather buckler failed strength check gain three times dried meat button all right we got pretty good let's clear that no notifications uh, Dimmed. we should probably heal ourselves we're gonna fight guided by your own foot previous use main menu gold 250 encumbrance nine of 17 level two health points 20 of 90 uh let's heal up Quest tab has update inventory tab has update or on red item. Yeah, inventory we're going to be has fighting, update. Arrow, so I'm going to heal new. up. Arrow five wooden staff equipped. Uh, we have a staff equipped. Weapon two one new expanded. Armor three one weapon two one new weapon. What weapon two, do we have? One new I think we should put a shield on. Armor three one food one medicine zero collapsed food one. Let's collapsed. Eat, let's food, eat some one, food expanded. two. Dried meat three. Weapon two. Dried meat three. Dried meat, three. Food. Salted strips of beef jerky, two slash two uses. Consume. Let's consume Button. this consume. food. Consume. 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 Let's see if we can fill. Notifications, four. Four's health plus 16. Button. Uh, health plus 16 times four, that's 40. Plus 40 plus 24, that's 44. Plus 20, we still need to heal, eat a little bit more. Consume. Button. Consume. Consume. Notifications, six. Four's health plus 16 health plus six health plus or minus zero. Okay, Button. good. We're all full. Okay, let's clear that. Notifications. Six. No okay. notifications. Notifications Dim. clear. We're at full health. Empty. Close. Button. Close that. Close. Health level two. Encumbrance. Gold. Two hundred. Main menu. Previous. You guided by your own footprints in uh, inventory tab. Let's tab. go. Quest tab. Has invent character tab. Tab. Let's get our character equip tab. equipment tab. on here. Head. Empty. But body. Empty. Hands. Empty button feet, light for boots button accessory, for mantle but ornament, chain of bassethunt button, ornament, chain of ba main hand, wooden staff button off hand, wooden staff button. Let's put in what else do we wooden have here. Staff, equi wooden staff. This crutch is a form of combat action. Stun two to four melee encumbrance four. Uh, stun is powerful though. Slots main hand unequip but wooden staff equip weapon one expanded weapon one. Wooden staff. Oh, we only have one weapon. I thought we had more weapons. Wooden staff. Weapon. One. That's Expanded. fine. Wooden on slot. Encumbrance four. Two to four melee down. Combat action. This crutch is a four. Wooden staff. Close. Button. Let's close that. I thought we had close. more weapons. Button. Three five. gear. Heading. Head. Do we have anything for head. our head? Empty. Button. Body. Body. Empty. B hands. Empty. Feet. Light fur boots. Yeah, button. we only had boots on. <laughs> we went out of we went out there with nothing but boot fur boots on. 
<laughs> what are we, a stripper? Accessor, fur mantle, ornament, chain of passive thump, main hand, wooden staff, off hand, wooden staff, combat actions, open tool tip, button. All right, I think we're fine. Combat action, close character tab, inventory tab, tab. Double close check inventory tab. Here. Arrow, five, wooden staff, e weapon, two, one new, expanded. Wooden staff, equipped. Weapon, two, one new, expanded. Armor, three, one new, collapsed. Uh, what armor, armor do three, we have? One new, fur mantle, equipped. Leather buckler new. Oh, the buckler. Love, let's, we can't equip that because it's, a uh, yeah. Light fur boots, equipped. Weapon, two, one new, collapsed. Weapon, two, one new, arrow, five, new. Okay, arrow, we can't equip that. Wooden staff, equipped. Okay, that's fine. It was the arrows that were, we're going to just sell that. I tried to do a range build. It's totally impossible. That's another thing they could work on. No notifications. All right, Dim. I think Button. we're good. Character tab, tab. Scripture, five, two new. Arrow, five. wooden, st weapon, two. Heading not found. Arrow, wooden staff, web, armor, food, medicine, tool, f treasure, two, one, scripture, five. Character tab, tab. Close inventory tab. tab. Okay, let's close our tab. All right. Health points 90 of 90. All right, we're fully healed. We're fully equipped. We're ready to rumble. Level two. Encumbrance. Gold. Two. Main men. Previous. Used. Guided by your own footprint. Look around. Button. Character tab. Look around. But look around. It came from the west. You hear a dog barking in the distance. Shadows move between the trees. People are coming this way. Come and on, doggo. Made their intentions clear. Oh, the doggo. Confront them. Button. Run. Button. Confront them. But confront them. Your fearless initiative is rewarded with an arrow to the chest. Falling oh. backwards, you catch a glimpse of the archer on the way down. He shouts, got him. You hear the dog barking as it zigzags between the trees nearby. The beast is closing in. Notifications. One, health minus 25. Button. Take 25 health. We can still heal if we have anything. Inventory tab. Tab. Close Let's inventory check tab. check see if we have any tab. healing. Arrow. arrow. Wooden staff. Weapon. Armor. Three. Food. Zero. Coll medicine. Zero. Collapse. I should have got one medicine before. I think somebody told me in the comments I should have gotten some medicine before I left the outpost. Okay, you were right. Arrow, wooden, weapon, armor, food, medicine, tool, treasure, scripture, five, character, close inventory tab. Yeah, I should have gotten medicine before Health I points. left. Your I fearless was being initiative very is rewarded cheap. with an arrow to the chest. I don't Falling like, backwards. I am you a catch miser. You a of the archer on the way down. He shouts, got him. You. I'm a miser when it comes to money in, in RPGs. Like, I, I should have gotten some some medi medication, some medicine. Yeah, I know, some bandages. Yeah, you were right. You're, get back on your feet. Button. Character tab. Get back on your feet. Let's get get feet. back on your feet. Despite the pain, you get back up. And before you know it, the dog comes at you with ferocious intensity, gnawing at your throat like there's no tomorrow. I don't know a person who can get up with an arrow in their chest and fight a dog, but oh, we're we're just very very powerful. Stave off the dog. Button. Character tab. Stave off the Stave dog. Off the dog. Stave off the dog. The archer shouts. Can't get a clear shot. Someone else replies. Fall back. Eyes on the prize. You plant your elbow between the dog's eyes. It falls to the ground, whimpering. A nomad warrior is approaching. He is draped in fur and armed with a spear. Okay. Fight. Button. Run. Button. Fight. Well, Button. we are going to fight. Initiative, you will receive an additional initial turn. Woohoo! We got an initial. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Button. Yeah, let's do it. Turns. Your turn. Turns. Nomad ranger. Distance from you. Two. Hell. Okay, we 49 got a nomad ranger. Protection. One. Actions. One. Advantage. Zero of 5,000. Okay, Effects. good. Aggressive. He's on an aggressive stance, so he's going to be hitting hard. Hunting dog. Distance from you. One. Health. 30 of 30. Protection. Zero. Actions. One. Advantage. Zero of 5,000. Effects. Aggressive. Okay. Hunting dog. Aggressive. Nomad warrior. Selected. Distance from you. One. Health. 49 of 49. Protection. One. Actions. One. Advantage. Zero of 5,000. Effects. None. Yeah, let's take out the dog, I think, first. Uh, I just, it doesn't really matter. Your action points. Three of three. Effects. Let's put on some, uh, let's put on defensive stance. Your health, your wooden attack, stun, unavailable, move, move, apply combat, and turn. Apply combat stance, cost, one action, a combat, activate stand, aggressive one action speed is in, defensive one action protection and we'll defensive one defensive action protection, activate turns, current turn and holder, let's you. nomad ranger, hunting dog, nomad, your action points, two of three, effect, your health, your advantage, wooden staff, press to equip another item, attack, three to five damage, button, let's go attack, attack. three, five. Stun. Uh, attack. Stun. Unavailable. Attack. Let's attack. Three to five damage. Minus three. Okay, let's go ahead. Stun. Cost. One action. One thousand advantage. Strike your opponent in the head. 
This aimed attack deals 150% weapon damage and makes the enemy disoriented. Button. How can we do that? Stop. Critical minus 10. Oh, Turns. cool. Current Nomad Ranger's turn. Cool, Shoot. Africa. Minus 19. Stop. Oh. I think Hunting we're... Dog's turn. Ow. Attack. Minus 15. I think we're dead. Your turn. <laughs> Nomad Ranger. Distance from you. 2. Health. 49 of 4. Hunting Dog. Distance from you. 1. Health. 30 of 30. Nomad Warrior. Selected. Distance from you. 1. Health. 36 of 49. Protection. 1. Actions. 1. Advantage. 0 of 5,000. Yeah, I think Effects. we weren't supposed to be here. <laughs> we weren't supposed to be on this fight. We're getting owned. Your action points. 3 of 3. Um... Well, let's just fight. Nomad, your action points, effects, defensive, your health, your advantage, wooden staff, press to equip another attack, three to five damage, button, attack, three, five, minus three. Okay. Stun. We'll Cost. stun it. One action, 1,000, minus five. Uh. Attack, three to five, wooden staff, your advantage, 368 of five, wooden staff, attack, three to five damage, we'll just attack button, again. attack, We should have stunned the dog, maybe. Nomad warrior's turn. Attack. Critical minus 15. Ow. I think we're dead. Hunt. Nomad Ranger. Distance from you. Two. Attack. Evade. Nomad Ranger's turn. Shoot. Minus 22. Health points zero of no the Nomad Warrior cracks your head open. <laughs> we died. And the snow cushions your fall. <laughs> All that but the talking. dog goes for the jugular, ending your life with a slash yeah, of blood. Yeah, we're not going this direction again. So this is a harder fight. So we're going to do the killing field first. Yeah, this was bad, bad, bad. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.40 a.m. Ooh, man. 20 minutes left. So, yeah. Okay, we're not going to do this fight first next time when we leave the city. We're going to go look for the killing fields. We're not. This is a fight we'll come back to when we have more adequate. When we put the shield and a single weapon on. We need a one-handed weapon. So, yeah, this was a... We got owned so bad. All right, we'll come back to this later. This is a hard fight. Try again. Button. Latest save. Auto save. Fort or. Rewind to an older save. Rewind to an older or. Latest save. Uh, try again. The Nomad Warrior crap. Previous. The Archer shouts. All right. Uh, clear shot. The Nomad Warrior. Try again. We Because we're playing hardcore, we don't get to try again. So that's if you want to play hardcore with me, once you die, you got to start all over from the beginning. Latest save. Auto save. 14 minutes ago. Uh, no, we don't want an auto save. Or rewind to an older save button. All right, let's go to, uh, uh, how, let's go to the main menu. Health points, level two, encumbrance, not left, health points, health points, zero of level two, encumbrance, gold to main menu. Let's go to main the menu. main menu. Continue. New game button. Let's go new game. New game. Here we go. You awaken from nightmares of blood and steel. There are people around you. They are talking, but you can't all make right, out what they are here saying. Here we go. Starting all over again. Another hardcore death. <laughs> yeah, boy, that was... Ugh. Listen. Button. All right, let's find out what's going on. Listen. You hear the voice of an old man. He says, another soldier from the front line. Seems like a lost cause, if you ask me. Keep listening. Button. Open your eyes. Keep listening. Keep listening. Well, we have flies. a chance to God's do some new upon things. Your pessimism. This one fought bravely. I am sure of it. And now we must do our part. Keep listening. Button. Keep listening. Another man replies. Yes, we must guide the hand of fate. Let us not waste any further time. Open your eyes. Button. Another man re Open your- Open your eyes. Button. Open your eyes. Who are you? Button. Three hooded faces are looking down at you. They are examining your many wounds. You feel cold and numb. Who are you? Button. Three hooded faces- Who are you? Where am I? Who are you? Button. Who are you? A robed woman replies, don't strain yourself, young soldier. The war is over. You have done your part. Close your eyes and be quiet. Allow us to mend your wounds. Ellipsis. Look around. Button. Look around. Your body is exposed and drenched in blood. Two men and one woman are standing around your bed. They are wearing white robes. The monastic garb of Highland monks. There are many other wounded soldiers in the infirmary. You recognize some of them. Try to get up. Button. Close your eyes. Button. Try to get up. Try to get up. You are unable to move. The pain is too much to bear. Your eyes grow weary. Close your eyes. Button. Close your eyes. Button. Close your eyes. Dream. Button. All right. The islands descend Time like playhouse curtains, leaving you with no choice but to face your painful memories of war. Dream. Button. Dream. Button. Dream. Burning towers reek of death. Flames illuminate the night sky. Red rivers rush down the stone-paved hills of a dying metropolis. You stand in the shadow of a crumbled rune stone. Your brother is here. 
His claymore is buried in the corpse of a foreign soldier. There is no sign of imminent danger. Okay, what shall we do this time? I think this time... I think this time... This time, I don't know what we're gonna do on this particular run. We'll just, we'll try to do some weird stuff. Notifications, three. Gain three times bandages. Gain three times dried meat. Gold plus 15, button. Okay, clear no notifications. notifications. Dim. talk to your, examine the rune stone. Talk to your brother, but talk to your brother. He gives you a worried look. Something might have happened to our sister. She was supposed to be here an hour ago. We should go find her. I'm so tired of looking for our sister. Don't forget that we have to report for duty before dawn. Button, character tab. Don't forget that we have to re don't forget that we have to report for duty before orders be damned. I may be a soldier, but she is family and family comes first. Always. Don't you agree? I think I'm going to be very contrary this game. I'm going to be very I'm going to be a dick this time. Yes, family. Com no, duty comes. It doesn't matter what I think. We pledged our lives to the militia. Death is the penalty for soldiers who disobey. I'm going to be all it doesn't hardcore. Matter what I think. We pledged. He sighs. You are correct. Like always. But as far as I'm concerned, I'd sooner hang than let her die. He turns quiet for a moment, shaking his head. No matter. A few hours remain before dawn. We can still find our sister and bring her to safety. What exactly did she say? Button. What exactly did she say? I spoke to Miriam back at the house. She wanted to escape from the city. I told her that there was no way out. This was early in the evening, before the enemy had breached the city gates. Miriam said she knew a way out. She told me to wait here by midnight. Did she say anything else? Button. Where do you suggest we start look? Did she say anything else? Did she say anything else? He ponders your question for a moment. Her plan was to seek refuge at the Fenrishian Monastery, but she had to take care of some unfinished business before she could leave the city behind. Unfinished business? Button. Unfinished business? Yes, I did ask her about that. She had to gather some books and scrolls, things of that nature. But there was something odd about her answer, as if she was hiding something. Where do you suggest we start looking? Button. Where do you suggest we start looking? Back home at the riverfront, or perhaps the ocean shrine. The city is fast. She could yeah. be anywhere. Button. We will go after our residents. That's a must for every run because you have a... Uh, okay, you got to get the lock picking knife. So you got to do the save the guy in the street from being trampled. And in our home residence, I think it's very important too because we also get a favor. Enough talk. Let's go. Character tab. Enough talk. Enough talk. Let's go. About time. He grabs his claymore. Lead the way. Brother, I'll be right behind you. Consider your options. Button. Character tab. Consider your options. Consider your options. You know the Western District like the back of your hand. Dead or alive, your sister can be found somewhere in this burning war zone. Question is, where will you start looking? Head north to Crown Junction. Button. Head east to your home on the riverfront. Button. Head south to the city gates. Button. Head east. Head north to Crown Junction. Button. Let's, uh, well, let's go north this time. We always Head go north to, to Crown our... Junction. I the upward slope of Main Street is littered with burning corpses. You cross paths with a militia soldier on your way to the summit. He seems to be in a hurry. Oh, let's Keeping kill his this head guy. Under the fur yeah. cloak. He does not acknowledge your presence. Look at the soldier. Button. Talk to the soldier. Ask your brother for advice. Talk. Look at the soldier. Button. Look at the soldier. The militia soldier keeps his distance and walks with a brisk pace. He is armed with a broadsword. His chainmail armor is draped in a heavy fur cloak, which hides his face. Talk to the soldier. Button. Talk to the soldier. The soldier growls. Leave me alone. Block his path. Button. Block his path. You stand in his way, keeping your weapons close at hand. Disgruntled. The soldier exclaims. Just my luck. I had to run into the Barnabas brothers. Ellipsis. Marvin. Is that you? Button. Character tab. Ta Marvin. Is that- Marvin. Is that you? That's right. And I'm out of here. Now get the hell out of my way, before things get ugly. Ellipsis. Oh no, Marvin. You got a lot more problems than you think. Our sister has gone missing. Have you seen her? You know what happens to deserters, right? Farewell. You know what happens to deserters, right? You know what happens to deserters, right? Oh, come on. You know damn well that this isn't what we signed up for when we joined the city guard. And besides, what does it matter? Anyway, Logan is doomed. Ellipsis. Nothing we can do about it. Ellipsis. Kill him. Button. Initiating combat. Marvin. Marvin's turn. Attack. Protected. Attack. Minus seven. Your turn. Your action points. Zero of three. Effects. Your health. 63 of 70. Your advantage. Bronze. Attack. Cleave. Unavail. Sever. Unavail. Move away. Unavail. Move forward. Apply combat stance. Cost. Activate stance. Activate stance. Aggressive one action speed is increased by 25. Aggressive one action speed. Marvin. Selected. Distant. Your action points. Two of three. Effects. Aggressive. Your health. S your advantage. Zero. Bronze claymore. Press to attack. 10 to 15 damage. Button. Attack. Minus seven. Cleave. Cost. One action. 1,500 advantage. Swing your weapon in a wide horizontal arc. Cleave. Minus 10. Marvin. Your turn. Your action points. Three of three. 
Marvin, selected. Distance from you, 1. Health, 23 of 40. Protection, 8. Actions, 2. Advantage, 1,300 of 5,000. Effects, none. Your action points. Effects, aggressive. Your health, 63 of 7. Your advantage, 25 of 5,000. Bronze claymore, press, attack, 10 to 15 damage. Button, attack, attack, minus 9. Clee, sever, unavailable. Cost, clee, cost, 1 action. Attack, 10 to 15, minus 7. Clee, sever, cost, 1 action. Minus 50. The hooded soldier collapses in a pool of blood. Your brother comments, Marvin was always a coward. Suppose he got what he deserved. Ellipsis. Notifications. 3. Initiated quest Infernal Odyssey. Gain 15 experience militia reputation increase. Button. Yeah, always kill Marvin. That gets you reputation increase. Notifications. 3. No yeah, notifications. I always kill Dim. Marvin now. Character tab. Inventory tab. Quest tab. No notification. No notification. Quest in care. Proceed to Crown Junction. The hooded soldier collapses in a pool. Proceed to Crown Junction. Let's go to Crown, Proceed Junction. To Crown Junction. Try this method Mad. first. Button. Character tab. Inventory tab. Quest. No notification. No notification. Quest. In care. Map. Button. Talk to your brother. Button. Look to the south. Button. Look to the east. But look to the west. Button. Look to the east. Look to the south. Talk to your brother. Look to look 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 to the north. Button. Look to the north. The stone tower of militia fortress looms above the northern docks, which can be accessed by heading down the slope of the winding street. Look to the west. Button. Look to the west. The western docks are shrouded in black smoke. Look to the east. Button. Look to the east. The spires of Hydran Bridge stand tall above the river Lash. The noble district of Walfgood lies beyond the river. Look to the south. Button. Look to the south. Flanked by burning buildings on both sides, Main Street leads all the way down the hill to the city gates. Talk to your brother. Button. Talk to your brother. Alex says, she's not here. Let's keep moving. Head for the western docks. Button. Head east to Hydran Bridge. But head for the northern docks. Button. Map. Button. Head for the northern Go docks. Go to the northern Button. docks and head for the try northern something docks. a little different. You hear a strange voice halfway down the hill. The street is empty, but a woman is singing somewhere nearby. Talk to your brother. Button. Listen to the strange song. Ignore the voice and continue on your way. Listen to the strange song. Listen to the strange song. Sounds like a madwoman. You can't make out the words, but her sad voice is familiar somehow. The song continues without interruption. Talk to your brother. But follow the sound of her voice. Button. Follow the sound of her voice. The voice guides you to a dead end street. You've been here many times before. This is where the customs house is located. It seems that the woman is trapped inside the building, which has been smashed by a large boulder. Talk to your brother. But approach the customs house. Leave. But approach the customs house. Approach the customs house. The constant wailing is interrupted when you get closer to the customs house. A pale man is peeking out from a narrow crevice. He shouts, about time somebody showed up. We can barely move in here. And the ceiling will drop any minute now. Ellipsis. How many people are trapped inside? Button. Remove the debris. Button. <coughs> Leave them to their fate. Remove the debris. Button. Yes, remove the, remove debris. the debris. Clearing the rubble is notifications. One. Gain ten experience. Button. We just get ten experience. For no that. notifications. Wipe the sweat from your brow. Button. Clearing the rubble is no easy task. The mad woman sings while you carry the heavy rocks out of the way. Her words make no sense whatsoever. It takes quite some time before the job is done. Wipe the sweat from your character tab. Wipe the sweat from your wipe the sweat from your brow. One by one, they slip out from the collapsed building. You recognize all of them. Cap, Rug and Jan. They are small time crooks, known as the River Mob. Your night patrols were a thorn in their side, more than once. Observe the criminals. Button. What were you doing in the customs house? But our sister has gone missing. What were you doing in the what were you doing in the customs house? Rug says, wife gotta have her medicine. Observe the criminals. But our sister has gone missing. Have you seen her? Button. Are you sure that you don't have any useful information? Cat replies, Miriam the novice? I know who she is. Didn't know she was your sister. We often pray at the ocean shrine. Her voice is a bomb for the soul. But it's been a while since my last prayer. Observe the criminals. Are you sure that you don't have any useful information about our sister's disappearance? How about you? Rug. Do you know? Jan sings. Miriam oh Miriam. A million ways to burn in a thousand flames. Our suffering. We fold like blades of grass. Ellipsis. Observe the criminals. Button. Observe the criminals. Used. Cap is a vagabond knife thug. One of many failed monks who turned to a life of crime. He is pale and disheveled. Always hooded. Boss of the river mob. Observe the criminals. Used. How about you? Rug. Do you know anything about our sister? Used. But how about you? Rug. Do you know? Rug says. All due respect. Nice lady and all. But your sister is probably dead. Observe the criminals. Used. Hand over the contraband. Or things might get ugly. You people know how to fight. You should do your part in the war effort. Button. You people know how to fight. You should do your... Folding his arms. The hooded vagabond replies. Supposing you're right. Ellipsis. What did you have in mind? You should take the oath and join the Robert Militia. Button. Seek out and kill the enemy. By all means necessary. Watch enemy movement and provide intelligence to militia forces. Button. Never mind. I Farewell. never knew we Button. could do any of this stuff. This is new. Um, 
What do we have these guys do? Watch enemy movement and provide intel. Seek out and kill the enemy. By all means necessary. Button. Mm. You should take the oath and join the Robert Militia. Button. Let's have them join the militia. Why not? You should take the oath and join the Robert Militia. Cat replies. Sure. We'll get right on that. Anything else? Seek out and kill the enemy. By all means necessary. Seek out and kill the enemy. By all means. Rub says. Being yeah. Sarcastic. We might stick around for a while. Kill anybody who gets in our way. Ellipsis. Watch enemy movement and provide intelligence to militia forces. Button. Watch enemy movement and provide intelligence to- The madwoman sings, our eyes like rooks, moving like the hand of fate. Crooked beaks devour flesh. Never mind. Farewell. Button. Character tab. tab. Well, we can always fight them, but this time we didn't fight them. If you get them mad enough, you can fight them. No notifications. Dim. So, Button. but you get experience points for fighting them, but you might lose reputation. I'm not sure. Never mind. Character tab. Never- The madwoman sings. Never mind. Fair- Never mind. Farewell. Rug whispers in Cap's ear. Somewhat anxious, the pale hoodlum looks at you and says, We are hungry and thirsty. Please, Ellipsis, give us something to eat. Some water. Ellipsis, anything. Sure. Give them some food. Button. Tell them to leave. But give them some food. But give them some more food. Used. Cap nods. Appreciate it. See you around. Barnabas Br Notifications. Two. Lost dried meat. Gain five experience. Button. Oh, we get experience points for being kind. Proceed to the northern docks. Give them some more food. Used. Button. Give them some more food. Used. Rudd the Bonabreaker grins, much obliged. Suppose we better get going. Notifications, four. Two times lost dried meat. Two times gain five experience. Button. Oh, we can get even more experience. Proceed to the northern docks. Give them some more food, used. Rudd the Bonabreaker grins, much obliged. Give them some more food, used. Button. Proceed to the northern docks. Button. Character tab. Proceed to the northern docks. Button. Character tab. Invent, Carri proceed to the northern docks. Button. Proceed to the northern docks. Map. Button. Look, look around. Militia soldiers patrol the northern docks, which lie in ruin. Ships move in the darkness on the Sea of Twilight. Look around. Button. Look around. Use. There are quite a few soldiers here. Most of the buildings have been ravaged by enemy catapults. The Tower of Militia Fortress looms in the distance. Look around. Use. Talk to your brother. Button. Ask the soldiers about your sister. Button. Well, approach the fortress. Button. Let's just approach the fortress. Approach the fortress. I think we've asked the soldiers. Also known useless. as Cornerstone Key, the fortress is enclosed by a circular wall. The central tower is a lighthouse, shining bright above the docks of Logan. General Zeno waits in the archway with a crowd of soldiers. Let's check in with him. Talk to your brother. But look at General Zeno. Button. Report for duty. Button. Report for duty. Look at the sky. The light of dawn approaches. Oh, I think we messed up. I think that ends the game. That ends it right there. Notifications. A. Two times lost drive me. Two times gain five experience. Gain ten experience. Completed objective report for duty at the militia fortress. Gain 100 experience. Militia reputation increase. Button. Well, we got reputation, but we also didn't make all of our connections. So I don't know if this is the best way to do it. Look at the sky. Button. Character tab. Look at the light of dawn approach it. Look at the sky. Yeah, Look at the I sky. think we sh it's better to do Nine other burning things in the before black we do this. Sunrays like javelins, piercing your eyes, blinded. Because they think this ends the, the whole flame. dream sequence. Okay, it's good for us to know. Next time we'll do our residence. We'll do the guy who's in the street for the lockpick. And then we'll run over here and report for duty. Uh, the shrine is kind of also a possibility. But it gets a little complicated. It's a lot of stuff that kind of happens along the way there. So again, this is a short one. We missed a lot of valuables. So maybe we'll be a jerk and kill ourselves off. Screen, button. Character tab, screen, button, screen. Elsewhere, voices above darkness. <laughs> so yeah, reporting for duty ends the sequence. So that's good. I think we will do everything and then do this last. So we just have to remember how to do it. Listen, button. Open your eyes, button. Listen, button, listen. The wounds are internal. We must act soon or this will- Listen, button. Listen. Speculum, scalpel, forceps. Listen, button. Listen. First incision, abdominal aperture. Open your eyes, button. Open your eyes. Drenched in cold sweat, you tremble and shiver as a familiar sight comes into view. Three hooded faces above your bed. The previous, first incision, look around, button, look around. Turning your head requires considerable effort and inflicts remarkable pain. All the other beds are now vacant. You are the last soldier in the infirmary. There, look at the monks, button, look at the monks. Marked by weariness and the pressure, they are clearly struggling to concentrate on the task at hand, which is to keep you alive. So they keep poking around with their strange devices, not knowing that you are awake. 
Request pain relief. Button. Request pain relief. Taken aback, the monks manage to keep their composure. The woman says, quickly, Spongia Somnifera. Wait. Button. Character tab. Wait. Taken aback, the monks manage. Wait. Button. Wait. Moments extend to eternity. Your eyes close. Hot water drips on your chest and strange fumes enter your nostrils. The woman says, the infernal boundary beckons. But we have seen that your soul is a living flame. Never let it dwindle. You will rise. Now sleep. Sleep. Button. Sleep. You drift in a deep and dark void. Time passes. Fragments of dreams and conversations. Darker mornings. Snow outside. Your brother is here. He walks in circles, ranting and raving about something or other. And now he's gone. Brief moments in this world. Soon replaced by nightmares of blood and steel. At some point in time, you wake up. Open your eyes. Button. Character tab. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Examine your wounds. The other beds are vacant. The infirmary is cold. Moonlight seeps in from snow-covered windows. Examine your wounds. Button. Examine your wounds. Your wounds have healed, though your scars are plentiful. Get out of bed. Button. Get out of bed. You feel weak in the knees. Shivering, you drop to the floor like a pile of bricks. Alexa, Michael. stop. All right, cool. All right. All right. We'll come back. We'll try to do some weird things because we missed a lot of stuff. So this is not the most optimal or efficient way of getting ahead in the game. Alexa, stop. So uh, we're going to come back, <laughs> part three, and just see how far we get on this particular one. We know we won't go that way into the wilderness. That was too hard. So it's really fun, though, because we learn something each time when we go different pathways and try different things. So that was really fun. So that's it for us. We're going to stop right now. A little shorter recording, but that's it. Uh, we'll come back again for part three, and I'll hear you all next time. Take care.